Welcome to Mason Recreation Center in Lemonster, Massachusetts for the two-string final match in this month's King of the Hill tournament. This is a uh, an event that happens every every month on the uh, first Saturday of the month at Mason's. And in this match you're going to see the defending champion, he's uh, the defending King of the Hill, Sean Parker, he's on lane 6, versus Jeff Little on lane 5. And Jeff was the King of the Hill a couple months ago until he was dethroned by Sean last month. So the way it works at, at King of the Hill is that uh, um, the field comes in and, and it, all of the entrants, except the, the reigning king, bowl a three-string qualifying match, uh, qualifying shift, and then the top four bowlers from qualifying move on to a stepladder final round, and the, the winner bowls a uh, two-string match against the, the king of the hill who comes back next month. And there is a strike by Sean Parker. He's getting off to a fast start here with a spare in the first box and then a strike. Let's take another look at that. Kind of a medium mixer in the 1-3 pocket and the 8 pin is the last one to go as you can see here. So Jeff Little punches out the spread eagle and then goes through the middle. So after starting with a nine box, he's, uh, Jeff is going to find himself down by quite a few against Sean Parker. So Jeff has 15 through two and Sean has 30 with a strike up and he drops six, I think. And Sean with, or uh, Jeff rather, with a uh, six drop. And Sean puts eight on the strike, so he's got 38 after two to uh, 15 for Jeff Little. Even though the uh, King of the Hill tournament is a handicap event, there's no handicap in this match because. Uh, Jeff and Sean both have the same average. I, th I think they average 108 in this tournament. Uh, which is actually uh, pretty good bowling because Mason Recreation Center is a is a uh, kind of a low scoring house. It's tough to, to shoot big scores here. So uh, you know, 108 here translates into uh, you know, a little bit more than that somewhere else at, at most Canopen houses. Both bowlers are going to be open here in the uh, in the fourth. Sean with an eight, and Jeff with a nine. So Sean has got 55 through four, and Jeff has 34. That's a pretty good pocket hit by Sean Parker there with a uh, seven drop, leaving a three, five, ten. Jeff hits the head pin too, but he punch, punches through the middle with uh, a big five. Two, three, four, six, ten. And, and uh, Jeff with a nice bid. He almost converted that, that big five, but uh, wasn't quite able to get the three. He cut the two, four, the two pin over into the six, ten. So through five, it's going to be... Sean Parker 63, Jeff Little 44 as they switch sides for the, uh, the second half of this string. Jeff drops 7 leaving a 367 and a nice ball by Sean Parker. He leaves a 7-8 uh, a with a piece of wood that might make it possible for him to make this. And there's a spare by Jeff Little. He had a nice piece of wood there behind the 3 pin that, that went over and got the Seven. Let's take another look at it. You can see he nails the three pretty solid and the wood goes over and takes the seven. Nice shot right there. And let's see what Sean Parker can do with this seven-eight spare that he's got. 
And he's got it. A nice, nice shot there. That was, he had to be pretty precise. Let's take a look at it again. There was not a lot of room there to, to make the spare. He had to, uh, to cover the eight pin with the ball while catching the wood. And he made a nice shot right there. Jeff fills his spare with six, giving him 60 after six. And Sean also with a six fill. That gives him 79. So a 19 pin lead for reigning king of the hill, Sean Parker. It's going to be a seven box for Jeff Little. Now let's see what, what Sean can do with this 710 with some wood out front. That's going to be a 9 box. So it's 88.67 through 7 in favor of John Parker. Jeff Little with a nice ball there in the 1-3 pocket dropping 9, leaving the 4 pin. Uh, got a lot of work to do, so it's, it's a good start there. And there is a 9 drop by Sean Parker, leaving a 5 pin. He's got some wood out front that might be a little bit tricky. And Jeff nails that 4 pin. It's kind of a little hard to tell from here whether that wood is going to be a problem. And, well, if, if you don't hit it, it's certainly a problem. So, uh, it's not going to be a mark. And well, we'll never know whether the wood was uh, an issue or not for John. He just uh, went by it a couple times. And there's an eight fill on the spare for Jeff Little in the eighth box. So that cuts Sean Parker's lead to 12, 97, through, uh, 97 to 85 through eight. And Jeff with a nice bid, but he just goes by the, uh, the two pin just by a little bit. He's trying to cut the two over into the ten. Not quite able to make it. And a, a nice bid by Sean there. Uh, trying to get that four, five, seven, eight, ten with a, a piece of wood. And just took out the five, eight. So it's it's going to be an eight box for uh, Jeff Little. And also an eight for Sean Parker. So it's one, oh, five to 93 after nine. 12 pin lead and of course this is the first string of a two string final. The other stepladder matches at King of the Hill are one string matches. And the uh, the first match this month was uh, uh, featured Ray Weatherby defeating Mike Legender and then uh, Yours truly made an appearance. I, I qualified third, and and I beat Ray Weatherby in the second match, and then I lost to Jeff Little in the uh, semifinal. So Jeff is in the final against um, Sean Parker, and you can see Jim Mazzaferro, who's the tournament director over here. He's uh, he's also the referee and law blind judge, and he goes down to take a look at a piece of wood that, that Jeff Little has and it turns out that it's it's good and Jeff brushes the wood but doesn't get the 4-7 so that's going to be an 8 box and it's also an 8 for uh, Sean Parker so through one string of the final match here at King of the Hill Sean Parker 113 Jeff Little 101 we'll be back with the second string in just a minute